So we've got a little bit of schadenfreude here for you today. So a week or so ago, you'll recall that uh, Andrew Tate, before he was arrested for human trafficking, just randomly went after Greta Thunberg and she bodied him. But look at the way he framed this attack. He bragged about his cars. Hello, Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. He's very, very proud of his cars. But... Do, 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 do. Romanian authorities seize Andrew Tate's car collection as investigation continues. <laughs> it's so good. You don't have 33 cars now, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, this this might be the best um, case of schadenfreude that I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, just beautiful. Online misogynist boasted about his cars in a tweet to Greta Thunberg that earned a viral rebuke. So um, Romanian authorities have seized a collection of cars belonging to misogynistic social media influencer Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan. It comes days after the 36-year-old self-avowed success coach was arrested as part of a human trafficking investigation. Tate, who once appeared briefly on Big Brother, he was on Big Brother? I didn't know this has referred to married women as property that their husbands own. Yeah. So he is popular among really young boys, and he's he's selling them this type of antiquated bullshit. Uh, in footage where Tate talks about feminism, the former kickboxer claims women should shut the fuck up, have kids, sit at home, be quiet, and make coffee. Well, now he's having to shut the fuck up and sit alone in his jail cell. And now his cars are taken too. Oopsie. So sad. We're all crying for Andrew Tate. Romania, Romanian authorities seized the car collection estimated to be worth over 5 million euros, as well as a number of buildings, including one where the brothers lived and allegedly held six young women, according to a local news report. And you have people online still defending this asshole. He literally was holding women and they... They're just, like, still defending him. Aiden Ross, in solidarity with Andrew Tate, shaved his head. I don't even know what he was trying to accomplish with that, but, like, the dick riding has gone to absurd levels, astronomical levels, when this is, like, the dick that you should avoid riding at all costs. But yet he still has dick riders, even if he is an objectively terrible human being. Um, and, of course, because this happened, it was turned into a conservative L on Twitter. <laughs> it's just... It's so beautiful. Romanian police seized 11 luxury cars from Andrew Tate and his brother after their arrest on sex trafficking charges. Oh, so beautiful. So I had to learn about Andrew Tate recently because he just is in the news constantly. But here's some um, videos of him basically saying like really terrible things. And this is for the people who already don't understand why this is a terrible person. I mean, if you're still kind of debating whether or not He's a good person after he was arrested for human trafficking and illegally holding women against their will. This is for you, I guess, because you need additional context. But let's listen. This is courtesy, by the way, of Poopy Productions. Uh, not my Poopy. Poopy did not make this video. To my knowledge, maybe he did. But um, either way, let's, let's listen. I love women. In fact, interesting statistic, 100% of the people I've ever had sex with were women. So... I'm sexist. I'm misogynist. Because yeah, I like, say. What do you think <laughs> it is that you say that makes people think you're like sexist? Everything. Because I said the truth. Probably well. I said if I were to get on a plane and I were to. That plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males. Well, I would choose a man. But well, you think that a man going out with a girl, that that's just your property? They're, they're, they're can't. She belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money. I understood what you said, that if a guy and a girl is dating and a girl does OnlyFans, she owes him a cut? No, 100%. He's girl. 100%. He, he owes his girl. But what's that have to do anything? Because she's his. <laughs> the woman is always given over to the man. Read, a, read the Bible, read the Quran. Hey, boom in her face and grip her up by the neck. What's up, bitch? That he doesn't owe the girl a cut. Uh, correct, because she because he doesn't belong. He's literally promoting violence against women. Jesus Christ, and he still has simps on the internet. Is that not bizarre to you? Like, what kind of a fucked up world are we living in, where people can see this dude, and think, oh, he's great. 
Yeah, I love him. He's a role model. I know the edit is cancer, I've got to say. Poopy Productions, you could do better. But thank you for the content, at least. She still belongs to him. Correct. So that's the sexist part. Haram and against the will of God. Look, read the Bible. Nobody gives a uh, shit about the Bible. Neck, and you start annoying me, trying to resist. And I just... Oh, and then I grab you by your neck again. Every single man had multiple wives. Not a single woman had multiple husbands. It's against the will of God. It's disgusting. Uh, we can purport that. We can attempt to label me with that all we want. I'm happy to discuss that. I absolutely not really love women. Oh. I, don't take it I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. I would never let a woman... Uh, if someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I just don't think that they're as emotionally calm as men in stressful situations. I don't think they can fight like a man can. If I come along and say women are better with children and men are better at fighting, that I'm somehow fucking sexist when it's clearly true. There's nothing wrong with stating the facts. He's just a piece of shit. Now, this was written in August um, by Shanti Das uh, for The Guardian. Inside the violent misogynistic world of TikTok's new star, Andrew Tate. Um, so I didn't know who the fuck this person was. So he, I guess his claim to fame is he was a kickboxer, but he kind of uh, blew up becoming like this, I don't know, I guess a life coach. And he sells people on Hustlers University, which is basically a pyramid scheme. Um, and it's just, it. all of this reeks of just stupidity. And he still has sims. Andrew Tate says women belong in the home, can't drive, and are a man's property. He also thinks rape victims must bear responsibility for their attacks and dates women aged 18 to 19 because he can make an imprint on them according to videos posted online. Sounds like a real catch. In other clips, the British-American kickboxer who poses with fast cars, guns, and portrays himself as a cigar-smoking playboy talks about hitting and choking women, trashing trashing their belongings and stopping them from going out it's bang out the machete boom in her face and grip her by the neck shut up bitch he says in one video acting out how he'd attack a woman if she accused him of cheating in another he describes throwing a woman's things out of the window in a third he calls an ex-girlfriend who accused him of hitting her an allegation he denies a dumb hoe i mean how can you deny that allegation when you literally like demonstrated how you would assault a woman violently. It's insane. Tate's views have been described as extreme misogyny by domestic abuse charities capable of radicalizing men and boys to commit harm offline, but the 35-year-old is not a fringe personality lurking in an obscure corner of the dark web. Instead, he is one of the most famous figures on TikTok, where videos of him have been watched 11.6 billion times. That is insane and horrifying. Styled as a self-help guru, offering his mostly male fans a recipe for making money, pulling girls and escaping the Matrix, Tate has gone in a matter of months uh, from near obscurity to one of the most talked about people in the world. In July, there were more Google searches for his name than for Donald Trump or Kim Kardashian. His rapid surge to fame was not by chance. Evidence obtained by The Observer shows that followers of Tate are being told to flood social media with videos of him choosing the most controversial clips in order to achieve maximum views and engagement. And unfortunately, it's working. And because people see that this is working... It, it's kind of incentivizing people to just be shitty, hateful people, and they're going to share their worst takes. It's just, it's it's sad what social media incentivizes. Like, it allows people like this to get giant platforms. It's so sad. The coordinated effort involving thousands of members of Tate's private online academy, Hustlers University, and the network of copycat accounts on TikTok has been described by experts as a blatant attempt to manipulate the algorithm and artificially boost his content. In less than three months, the strategy has earned him a huge following online and potentially made him millions of pounds, with 127 members now paying the $39 a month to join Hustlers University community, many of them boys from the UK and the US. So... He got 127,000 members to join his pyramid scheme. That is insane. Yet, despite much of the content appearing to break TikTok's rules, which explicitly ban misogyny and copycat accounts, the platform appears to have done little to limit Tate's spread or ban the accounts responsible. Instead, it has propelled him into the mainstream, allowing clips of him to proliferate and actively promote, uh, promoting them to young users. So, yeah, I don't know how much more I want to follow, but, or more of this I want to read, but, yeah, I mean, we don't have to go further to understand that 
this is a massive, massive piece of shit who should not be taken seriously. So, yeah, very uh, cool guy here. But at least he lost his cars, or at least some of his cars. That's good, right? 